Hey Leos, how are you guys? This is my fifth attempt to record this video because of the distractions that I have had repeatedly in this house. I mean, it's just unreal. And uh, I'm just really pissed the fuck off right now. I really am. So, um, happy birthday. What are you doing for your birthday, Leos? Thank you for coming in, number one, again. When I looked at my popular uploads, it's like Leo, Leo, Leo. A lot of Leos, you know, um, watch this channel. And I really appreciate you guys, all right? I really do. If you want a reading, you can go to www.sunshinetarot.net. That is in the description box, all right? I'm going to do a, um, a love reading. Your love readings, it's like... They were coming out real pretty, and then I just kept getting distracted, and uh, I had to start all over again, and, and like four to five times. So, yeah, I'm really pissed off about that. Okay. All right. That's a Leo, whose birthday is August 9th, that keeps repeatedly coming in here and interfering when it's, it's obvious when I'm recording. You see the lights on, you see the camera light flashing, I'm flashing table, I'm flashing cards, I'm talking to someone, nobody else is in the room. How hard is it to know when somebody is recording? You know, and I tell her and tell her and tell her and tell her and every fucking time I record, I have to deal with this. You know, I'm sorry. All right, Leo. Okay. So this is my fifth time doing this reading. All right. So let's take a look at Leo's. Leo's mid-August. Leo's love mid-August. Leo's love mid-August. At the bottom, what you're not expecting is the five of coins reverse. So you might get out of the cold from someone. Like if you have been blocked, um, somebody may unblock you. Or if you had blocked somebody, you may unblock someone. Um, soon, okay. The lovers is reversed. You could be dealing with the Gemini, all right. This person has chosen you, but I don't know if you have chosen them. So I do see somebody who um, has chosen you to be in a relationship with. Wow, the Queen of Cups is here with her cup pointing in your direction. So it looks like you're in love, or somebody is in love with you, okay. There's a lot of emotions going on in your heart. So I do feel like you are feeling someone, right? That is not just a um, a sexual a sexual connection. It is a uh, uh, it's, it's almost like a soulmate connection with the lovers here. Okay, so this person loves you. You love someone. Some of you are in love in um, mid August. Okay, let's. There's somebody who you are going to decide to not deal with anymore. Like you may decide to drop off other people because there's one in particular who you are really feeling. I see victory between the two of you. This is Jupiter and Leo and it's pointing in your direction. So it is upside down, but it's uh, moving in the direction towards the left, which is where you are. I see a lot of communication between you and someone. All right. They're saying if you've just met somebody online to not send any sex pictures to them, don't send. It's a bad decision to send freaky pictures to this person that you're dealing with online because I get the judgment reverse next to the page of wands reverse, which is hot communication. Right. And I'm just assuming that it's talking about pictures. Right. But anyway, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> anyway, um, I see victory between you and somebody else uh, this month. All right. 
I see that um, you guys are going to overcome your difficulties. You could be in a full-fledged relationship with somebody. And you guys just renew the love that you have for each other. I see that perception is going to play a real big part of your romantic life in August. It really is going to be about do you see the glass half empty or do you see the glass half full? I feel like you're going to have a person that you're dealing with where you could, it's up to you to decide whether this is a good connection or not right um, there's a lot of good things here but there are some things that are questionable as well okay and it's really uh, it's like for it to leave on the hangman see when you when the hangman is standing straight up you see things from one perspective but when you're hang up when you're upside down you see things from another perspective so perception and perspective is going to play a real big role on whether or not um, you see this connection thriving or, you know, if you're looking at what's wrong, okay? I think there could be an X that's still in the picture, okay? And you, I, I, I don't know, like, there could still be an X in the picture, but it does look like the X is leaving the picture, all right? So the answer to your love, mid-love, for those of you, who are seeing someone it looks like your person chooses you they choose you and they want to fall in love with you and give them your heart I don't know if you feel the same way um, I don't know if you are where they are I feel like you love this person okay I think you are slowly moving in the direction uh, like I do, I feel like you want this to work, but I feel like in order for this to work, um, you may need to um, start seeing things differently. Um, like you may need to not take, like, um, let me give you a for instance. Like you may deal with somebody who works, this is just a for instance, like you may be dealing with someone and they work contract jobs, right? And uh, you may want someone that has a little bit more stable stability, and they actually are really stable in their contract jobs, right? It's just different, and you may need to look at something, you know, from a different angle in order to uh, get into the groove of this, all right? Not too much, though, because the Queen of Cups and the Lover's Reverse are pretty strong cards. So some of you are in love, and you're in love with the soulmate. And this person really does have a lot of emotions for you. And they are giving you their cup of love. And it's very sincere, okay? And they can be trusted because this person is coming in as a queen, not a page, all right? So uh, they're done with playing games. And... They're telling you to uh, that you should cut off uh, or that maybe you will decide to cut off other people who are kind of hanging around uh, who want you to. Right. But this person is showing you di a different way of looking at life or something like they're really different. And this is the person that's finally affecting you enough to stop dealing with someone who maybe you thought you would never stop dealing with, okay? Because uh, it's really positive over here. And if that doesn't resonate, then uh, you are so positive to this person that they're going to stop dealing with someone that they never thought that they could ever get over. Because someone, an extra energy is leaving this, in, uh, this connection, all right? So, Leo, uh, how does your person feel about you? No, let's look at single Leos. Single Leos. All right, let's look at single Leos. So I feel like um, some of you are depressed. 
You may be suffering from a clinical depression too. You may need to get it uh, treated, okay? I, I feel like there's a fish in the cup. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, right? There's page of cups is here. So I see uh, maybe something kind of uh, light, casual around you, right? That you're not interested in. Queen of Swords with her back turned right or this could be somebody is treating you casually yeah no i see i see casual connections just ending you know like if they're not coming correct yeah i definitely feel like if they're not coming with something substantial to put on the table you are blocking that out with the seven of wands and you're saying no thank you with the death card and with the queen of swords here your back is completely turned to the nonsense so i do feel like there are people who don't want anything really that you know are kind of lingering around but I don't see that there's anybody that's coming around that you want to make a new start with. I feel like you feel like you're better off with enhancing your own gifts and talents. Some of you make a living from a self-taught craft. Some of you are singers, artists. Some of you are going to be, um, I see you. I see you looking for a soulmate or your twin flame, and I just feel like the offers that are around, they're not strong enough to get your attention, so you turn, uh, you turn away. And if they are strong enough to get your attention, I don't see that they're doing it for you because they may be a little too immature. Okay? So I see you... Uh, kind of focusing on uh, balancing your own emotions. Some of you are going to see, uh, like, uh, you might actually start seeing a therapist or a psychiatrist. I really see you balancing your emotions. So there could have been some type of chemical imbalance, and uh, you're going to see a psychiatrist, and you guys are going to decide what route is best for you, okay? Um, yeah. All right, because medication, you know, depression is uh, really treatable, is really treatable. And let somebody with a PhD tell you what, if you should take medication or not, because un, you know, uh, educated people have their opinions, but I would rather get a professional opinion from someone who went to school to tell you chemically what would be best for you, okay? All right. I see some of you doing that. All right, so um, Crosswatcher, how is Leo feeling about you mid-August? Crosswatcher, who are watching the YouTube videos, Crosswatcher, watching the YouTube videos, how is Leo feeling about you? Ooh, the Emperor, the Six of Wands, the Hierophant, the Eight of Cups, the King of Wands. Oh, I see. The Three of Cups reverse with the Two of Swords. So Leo uh, is really feeling you, okay? Leo feels like there's somebody that they want to settle down with, with the Emperor and the Pope here, okay? They also want to succeed in their business with the Six of Wands. You could also be dealing with a Leo that gets a lot of attention or is very beautiful or handsome possibly okay because this is the six of wands a lot of people are watching or looking at you okay you could be in the public's eye uh your person could be in the public's eye but your person but the leo sincerely wants to make you their husband or their wife wants to provide for you or pull their weight that the higher font here the leo wants a higher level of commitment and will leave you if you try to give some bullshit I mean, it, with the Eight of Cups, that will leave you if you're not wanting what they're wanting. And will be your friend and will love you at a, at a distance. But the Leos that I'm reading for, they're ready to settle down and have something real. All right. And that's the vibration that they're on. Like they're not on a party, let's kick it, uh, vibration at all. Uh, it looks like the Leo feels like they are willing to leave other people alone for you. All right. Uh, they, yeah, it looks like there are a lot of people that like them or want them. 
could be you could have met them on a dating site and maybe they've kind of just chosen you above all the other uh, responses that they're getting but they feel like they need to make a choice there's some things about that Leo uh, about you that kind of bothers the Leo and we'll take a look at that in the extension okay but because uh, they they're still like uh, they they have choices I feel like this Leo have choices but uh, you know they see you as the person that they really want to perhaps have something long term with all right uh, Leo how is your person viewing you oh, God. how much more time do we have my darlings Okay, Leo, how is your person viewing you mid-August? Leo, how is your person viewing you mid-August? Page of Wands with the Chariot reverse. This is trying to pop out at the bottom, the Emperor. The Justice card next to the Emperor. The Page of Cups the three of coins, and the temperance card, okay? So, if you're seeing more than one person, there's somebody that's kind of feeling like they don't have your attention as much as maybe somebody else, right? Um, there's somebody who is feeling like you guys are not gonna make it work because Leo's back is turned to them. All right, so you could be seeing someone who is feeling like they are not winning you over and they're very clear about that. They feel like they're losing you to someone else and they are very clear about it. So if you thought that you were hiding it or you know you were trying to be cool and not put everything out, no, they feel it. They feel it very strongly. They feel like you are interested in someone else. Now, then uh, your person too, Leo, is coming in as the emperor with the justice card. So they want to get married. I don't know why you guys are not married. You guys could already be married or live together. You could have a child with each other, okay? They want to have another child with you if you are still at child rearing age, or they want to be the stepfather or stepmother of your children. Like they want this, like they accept your child. The, your children, all right? They want to build something with you, um, like maybe a business or um, a bar, a, a restaurant, uh, uh, OnlyFans. Some of you are OnlyFans. Some of you are on OnlyFans, okay? I see the transaction of money, um, like after sex or for sex. So you could be a, a, a cam girl one of those cam girls on OnlyFans or something, because I see you making a lot of money. All right? Um, a lot of money on, on OnlyFans, okay? Some of you are going to legally marry the person that you're with, with the justice next to the emperor, okay? Uh, your person can be a little stubborn and pig-headed and stuck in their ways and uh, really masculine, you know, like they believe that a woman has a place. And, uh, you know, I don't see you having a problem with submitting to this man at all because this is a man. This is a man. I see a man, you know? And it's like, well, hell yeah, you're gonna be controlled. You're gonna be running it like that and it's that smooth, hell yeah. I also see a, a legal contract between a man and a woman. So that definitely looked like marriage to me. Some of you could be pregnant. All right. I see a pregnant woman here. And I feel like um, they feel like you're their twin flame. Like they feel like you're somebody that they've been praying for. All right. Okay. Okay. So, Leo's. Leos who are uh, seeing someone, like it's kind of new, you just met, you're meeting somebody online is new, or 
um, you know, is still uh, not committed, you know, you're single. Okay. How do they feel about you? Three of Swords came out. Leo's. Ace of Cups is at the bottom. Okay. They think you would make some pretty babies. The Death, the Magician, the Will of Fortune, the Seven of Wands, uh, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Wands reverse. Somebody is going to fall in love with you, Leo Singles. I see that most of the people that you're dealing with, they just, you know, it's just like, uh, we meet, it doesn't work, they have somebody else, you have someone else, and you guys just kind of fade out, you know, from talking to each other or something like a fade out, because you're not going to tolerate anything but absolute love. But somebody comes along who loves you. I, I don't know if they're here now, but um, somebody is, somebody loves you. You know, I'm not sure why the card said that it wasn't going to work. Maybe you don't love them. But somebody loves you, babe. All right. Okay. So. I have all this shit in here. All my eyelashes. This is a damn shame. This is for the makeup artist. I brought him downstairs. I brought him downstairs. Where did it just go? Okay. Sorry, Leo. The hell? Okay. All right. So, Leos, you guys are in love. You guys are, uh, some of you in your birthday season are definitely moving towards um, something serious with somebody. It looks real good so far. I don't know what's going to happen in September, but actually with those strong major arcanas like that, you'll probably be together for the rest of the year, definitely. All right, let's see what we have, Leos. Yeah, I see you traveling. Here's that ring again. You might give somebody a ring. You, uh, somebody may give you a ring. There might be a proposal coming, okay? Um, from somebody who lives far from you, you, you will travel or somebody is traveling to see you. Uh, if you are traveling abroad, uh, you may find somebody who loves you. You may find love through travel, all right? To, and this is just talking about choosing to be happy. It's, it's, it goes back to the hangman card. Like, you know, um, you get to choose if the glass is half empty or half full. But it's never going to feel like that the way it's going to feel mid-August. It really, I hope you pay attention to that, Leo. Because you could possibly have a good thing or you could have something that you need to be cautious of. It's really about uh, what perspective you take. Let's say that you're dealing with someone who got out of prison. You know, um, and he has a felony, you know, but he really has changed. Like maybe he, he, came, he became a Muslim, he became a Christian, and now his values are completely different. Well, is the glass half empty or is it half full? You know, it's like, damn, well, if he's a felon, he can't get a good job. Yeah, but, you know, what if he's smart and he can work for himself? So perspective, and that's why that charm was like, I choose to be happy. That's, I feel like, reiterating that message of, you know, it's your choice on how you're going to see things, Leo. Let's see how much of this mess over here you guys can see. Not too much. Uh-oh, the light is blinking. Oh, I have 24 minutes. I better hurry up. I mean, I'm at 24. Okay, Leo's, this is for the extended reading. And uh, this is for mid-August. Leos, I, I thank you very, very much for your patronage and um, your support of my channel and your support with the readings. I get the highest, Leo, Leos are the highest uh, sign that gets readings like all the time. If I'm not reading, yeah, yeah, anyway, I appreciate that, all right? All right, Leos, let's take a look at mid-August. You guys are also number one for extensions. 
appreciate that. Uh, the number one place that watches the extensions is Detroit, Michigan. So thank you, Detroit. All right, Leos, this is for August. Where is your relationship going? Okay. How do they feel about you? Uh, how, cross watcher, how does Leo feel about you? What are they hiding? Cross watcher, what is Leo hiding from you? Do they have anyone else? If so, where is it going? Cross watcher, does Leo have anyone else? If so, where is it going? How do they secretly feel about you? That is always a trip. Sometimes they're in love with you and don't know. How do you secretly feel about them? Or how does Leo secretly feel about them? And this is the outcome for mid-August. All right, now we're going to take a look at how your person is viewing you, Leo. Okay, single Leos, ten of swords reverse, high priestess, and the devil. Okay, so some of you are dealing with someone who's very sexually attracted to you, and they may not want a relationship, right? Um, they may, you know, they may want a sexual relationship, okay? And they're addicted to your sex, so they can't, they're in bondage to it, right? All right, that's some of you. Um, others of you could be involved in the craft, because the high priestess to me, you know, she's a little witchy for me, okay? Um, and they see, they, they might see you as somebody who's witchy. <laughs> You know, like you might be a tarot reader, you're in the tarot cards, you're into astrology, okay? They might say, oh, she's into that devil shit. Um, how else do they see you? Um, they see you as the devil, as somebody who uh, really fucks up their head, you know, somebody who um, can, uh, that, that they have a mind, that has a mind control over them. Or something, okay? Um, they are really attached to how you look, too, right? Uh, now, for others of you, they could see you as someone who drinks too much, maybe um, gambles too much, has some type of addiction, because that's what the devil can mean, too, all right? Um, let's see how much more time we have left before this thing turns off. Oh, that's, oh, 27, okay. All right, Leo, how, uh, Leo's in relationships, how does your person view you? Um, Leo's, they feel like you guys can talk, they feel like you don't tell them what's really going on, or like it's hard to get to your soft side because you're so strong, they kind of feel like you don't need them, right? But with the king of cups here, with the king of coins, some of you could be dealing with multiple people who love you, like you have, uh, two men that are in love with you or two women that are in love with you but uh your person sees you as somebody that they want to be committed to and possibly marry that's how they're viewing you as someone who they are committed to and who they are in love with but they feel like you know um they 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 want to be a little more closer to you emotionally all right like they feel like um like maybe you keep a lot of things in. Uh, they can't talk to you because the swords are communication. All right. They could also feel like they don't see you enough. Right. Okay. So if you want to see the extended version of this reading, um, the link will be in the description box and at the top of the comments section. It'll say click below for the Leo extended reading and it will either take you to Vimeo or to my website where for a nominal fee you can see the extended reading. Okay? Leos, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here and watching. See you next week. Happy birthday and God bless you.